Okay, so somebody had a question about how I got my House Stark Sigil image and got vectors assigned in, in VCarve Pro. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, first, just go to Google and, or wherever you want to get your image from. I'm not, I'm not advocating plagiarism or copyright infringement or anything like that. I'm not selling this stuff. This is just projects I was making to learn the program. Um, and then you just get your image, right? Oh, that one's not going to work. Stop it. There we go. There, click on it. There we go. Copy image. And then go back over here into VCarve Pro, paste it in. And I usually try to make it as big as possible. Then zoom in on it. And then click this little thing over here. It says trace bitmap. Looks like a, I don't even know what it looks like, but it's that little gray thing. Click that. Okay, and you gotta make sure you're clicked on it. If you're not clicked on it, you're gonna get this screen here and it's gonna do nothing. See that? Click on it and then I usually just take the bottom one all the way over to the left. And then this, you can just fade it around until you get the actual body of it, how you like it. And then let's just call it good right there. And then I preview, apply, zoom out a little bit. You gotta close this out before you can remove the, the image from your bitmap or from your vectors. See, okay, and then what I do here is I come and I highlight the whole thing and I ungroup onto object layers and then what I do is I start deleting this extra stuff. Oops, dang it. <laughs> Let's undo that. There we go. Ooh, make sure you don't get your picture. Delete. Delete. And see, you might need to, on some of them, come in and check it, things like this. So probably what I'll do right now is leave it, and then I'll regroup them, leave them highlighted. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to run a V-carve path. I'm going to take this. I'm not doing a clearance tool because this is just an engraving. Oops. And that's it. And then you can fine-tune it if you want to make it cleaner, or if you don't like how the lines came out, you can... Just go back over here and you can retrace your bitmap. And then you can just keep playing with it however you want it. There's a way to do color. However, I'm, I haven't figured this part out yet. So if anybody has any places for it, there's um, Vectric Limited as a YouTube channel. I think it's what it's called, Vectric Limited. If you just search um, Vectric software in YouTube, it, you should probably find it. I subscribed to it, and I watched all their videos that I could, and I came across something about this, and I've just had too much on my plate to go back and put any more effort into it. But there's a way to do it with colored objects, and I think it actually it involves like this modeling tool path where you can actually make like three-dimensional items, but I don't know how to do that yet either. So anyways, well, that's all I got for this one. Just a quick uh, one to answer the guy's question. And if you, I hope that helps you out. And hit that subscribe button. Till the next video, I hope you guys have a great day.